I guess that's the way it goes in the AFL these days. So the final quarter just about to start. At Princess Park, 14 points the difference. As we begin the final term, the Lions in the lead. They led by 18 points at the main change. And out of the centre, McCormack. He really has been a Lion today. Osborne kicks right on the boundary line. Centering kick, didn't have a ping at the sticks. Guard, can he kick it off the ground? He can't. Lee will get there first. Shovels out a long hand pass. Bickley, under plenty of pressure, gets taken, but taken high. Still gives the hand pass away. Plenty of Fitzroy jumpers are there. Lie, uh, Abbott gives it over to Broderick. Broderick snapshot. Looks good. And he's got the goal. So Broderick getting his second and just the start that Robert Shaw would have wanted. 15-12 to 12-10. Well, 30 possessions for young Broderick and done an excellent job in restricting one of Adelaide's strengths, Jarman, to a fairly ordinary game. And that goal... Well, it hasn't sewn up this game, but certainly it has put Fitzroy in the right frame of mind to go on to a win. Well, it's made it very difficult, hasn't it, now for Adelaide. They trail by 20 points. They really needed to get the first goal. Broderick nearly takes it away again. Jarman following. Broderick trying to get the hand pass out. Gale goes to Elliott, and Elliott does it pretty well for a youngster. Kicks it towards centre-half forward. And a Fitzroy mark was taken by Wielden. Haven't seen much of him, Robbo. And we just made that comment, didn't we, mm. Peter, that uh, Darren Wielden has had a very, very quiet day. There's only six kicks for Darren Wielden. We uh, come to expect more. He's an exciting player that can do the miraculous, but uh, just doesn't do enough of the ordinary things to make him a true, consistent player. Well, he's got the footy within 50 metres, gets underneath it a little bit and hooks it away to the left and kicks it out of bounds on the full so the free kick will be taken back there for Adelaide by Hart he quickly kicks it in where Maynard marks at half back Maynard right on the boundary line at the right half back flank kicks it to centre wing off the hands of Smith and it will be lip tack over the boundary line for a throw in some 30 metres further downfield 15-12 to 12-10. The scoreboard, 102 to 82. 20 points the difference in favour of Fitzroy. Smith up high again. And this time gains about five metres. Well, one little point about the Fitzroy side is their camaraderie must be good because I think they've socialised together. There's only three of the whole side married. So it really is a team of bachelors. I don't know what that tells us. I think they're out of the town a little bit together. And the way they're going, that's where they're headed tonight. Bickley headed over the boundary line. Gale went through pretty quickly. He crossed it. The ball didn't. It's still in play. Now it is in front of the trainer's bunker out there next to Paul Abbott. And once more, a boundary throw in right on 50. Detroit can get another goal here. It's going to make it difficult for Adelaide. Abbott and Ingerson. Jarman dispossessed. A quick kick comes out of the pack. Hart at the back. Doesn't get a favourable bounce. Wiedemann will he track it through and another behind rush to Fitzroy to make the difference 21 points that's how the game started with a lot of pushing and shoving yes well when uh, Wiedemann went to ground he, he copped the boot in the head from a Fitzroy player and that was the cause of his uh, anger Patterson takes the mark at centre half back or perhaps a little bit short of that position Patterson again going to the outer side of the ground Ruse at the back likewise Jarman who breaks clear Brown running with him. Blakey almost. Lip tack. And out of bounds right on 50. Boundary throw. And I think they've summed that up pretty well, Jared, too. Lip tack, one of the playmakers, and uh, John Blakey's picked him up and shut him out pretty well. Yes, he's one of their better shadows, Fitzroy. Well, I look at a lot across the ground. I'm just wondering where the Crows are going to get the spark from. There doesn't appear to be any uh, ignition. No, they need McGuinness or... Uh, Tregenza or McDermott, someone like that to try and get the one or two quick goals. The way they're going at the moment, it's a real struggle. That ball was out of bounds before the player kicked it. So we've got to come back to that area for a boundary throw in. 15-13 plays 12-10. So Fitzroy lead by 21 points. Adelaide will have to kick four goals and keep the Lions goalless. That kick in has been marked by Seacamp in front of Rennie. Plays on quickly and kicks it wide. It's good too. Paxman's made good position running away from Hodges. They're beginning to get good understanding between themselves. Young Paxman and Seacamp, a draft recruit. 
both uh, tallish players and uh, teaming well on Fitzroy's back line. Good kick by Paxman. Oh, was that a free oh. kick? He put his hands right in the middle of the player's back. Yeah, but if to you get up there, there, you've got to pay them, I reckon. Similar to Warwick Kappers on Langford in that semi-final. That oh. was a sensational grab. It's been paid. Wiedemann kicks it into the forward line. And a good mark taken back there by Morrish. Oh, that was a uh, mark of the day, wasn't it? Well, it was a leap from nowhere. Real it jack was. in the box. Guard in front. Wiedemann behind. Wielded. Quick hand pass. A bolo knock on. Comes down to McDermott. It was from Baldwin. Up towards the 50 metre line. Smith in front. Ruse behind. Elliott. Over to McCormack. Close to best on the ground in my book. He's had a tremendous game. Gale gives it back to him. So he bothers the statistician twice. Kick down to Osborn. Hart again. There with him. Osborn from the boundary line. Kick one earlier in the second quarter. Not this time. And it will be brought back. Well, I'm surprised that Graham Courts hasn't done a uh, civil we'll get back to that after we have a look at this replay here Wiedemann well oh, he did put the free kick well I disagree with that oh, because gee, he didn't push the only him one in the back that decision he didn't push him in the back you can't the, do that you can't do what put your hands in the middle of someone's back or on their shoulders to get projection in the air to mark the ball at the bar afterwards gentlemen this is Gale and the ball rushed through, or knocked through, if you like, by Wren for one behind. Well, I think there is an unwritten law in football, Robbo, that if you take the grab, you'll, you get the benefit of the doubt. And I'll bet you Brucey has that on what's your decision tomorrow morning on Sports World. You're dead right. Ben Hart will kick in. Yes, it'll have him talking for a while. He did touch him on the shoulder. He again, he did take the mark. He got a nosebleed. He was up that high. <laughs> you never took them. You oh, got, never. You got uh, vertigo when you put on a thick pair of socks, don't you? <laughs> Maynard to Marshall. Marshall at midfield. Goes straight down the ground. The Crows realising they must get some goals quickly. And the mark has been taken at centre-half forward by Liptak. No, it's Ingerson, I think. Uh, it? Uh, it is yes, Ingerson. you're right. Ingerson. And a bad mistake there, Jared. I think he must be told, don't turn your back on the play. Smith yes, had made position. an opportunity down forward with Smith left alone. Good mark. He has to kick the goal now to make a match. 48 metres out. Looks pretty good. He's got the goal. Ingerson brings the Crows a little bit closer. And just what they wanted. 15-14 to 13-10. Yes, well, that uh, goal was born on the half-back line. Here we see Maynard whipping it out to Marshall, who has been very quiet today. Good strong mark in the hands out the front. That's his strength. And kicks a goal. Ingerson's first goal, 15-14 to 13-10. Back into the centre. Ball spills free. Comes Fitzroy's way up towards half-forward guard. Tackled by Wiedemann. Umpire gives nothing for that. McGuinness tries to break the tackle and break clear. McDermott, was he taken high by Wilden? I would think so. Free kick to the Crows. Well, the point I was about to make before I was rudely interrupted by that terrific mark from Wiedemann was that I believe that uh, they should put their match winner... ..their match winner in McGuinness onto uh, McCormack because McCormack is being very dangerous. McGuinness himself has been kept out of it. And uh, they've done that move well on Greg Williams for the Swans at previous times. And I think uh, that is the move that could pay off for the Crows. 55 metres from the Adelaide goal. Boundary throw in. Abbott from behind. In front, Smith. Jarman. Smith, well done. No. Handball was blocked. McCormack, that could be nearly a free kick. It was just a little too enthusiastic there by Darren Smith. And a free kick will go to McCormack in the back pocket. But really, that's what they need, the Crows. A bit of enthusiasm at the ball. They're still in this game. It's certainly able to be won from here. Not too late, you think? Oh, no, not at all. With 20 minutes to go. Marshall, wind, still hard up against the boundary line, and it's forced over for a boundary throw in. About two and a half kicks from the Adelaide goal. They trail by 16 points. 104 plays 88. They need to kick three and keep the Lions goalless. McDermott caught. Wind, Jarman, must lift. Kick towards centre-half forward. Ruse! Oh, yes. Oh, gee, the Fitzroy supporters love Paul Ruse. A great stalwart across that half-back line. He kicks it wide, and Paxman is marked at half-back. Gives away the hand pass. Put his teammate down there under plenty of pressure. That was Seacamp, but they'll get away with this. 
Mack is taken by Baldwin. Hunter Broderick has played a more than serviceable game. Well, Patterson could have given away a free kick there. Yeah, it wasn't right. 